谢谢，谢谢。Please tell me you speak English. I'm Detective Carter. Do you speak any English? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Glover Quinn here in the DB room. As you can see from that clip, communication is key, right? Speaking the same language is critical for our communication. So it doesn't matter what I say if you can't understand it. Today, we are going to start learning the same language so you can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Welcome to the DB room. Let's go. Today, we're going to start learning some basic offensive terminology. As defenders, we have to have an understanding of who guys are on the offense and understand the different personnel that is in the game. Today, we're going to start with base, high school, middle school, pop, warner, formation, and personnel. We are going to be talking 21 personnel, pro, and slot. Let's go to the screen. Okay, so the first thing we got to do we're gonna explain this personnel for you guys. 21 personnel. You see it right here, it says two running backs, one tight end, two wide receivers. When you identify a personnel, the first number that you see right here, this number two, is the number of backs that's in the game. Full back, half back. You see we got two backs down here. The second number is the number of tight ends in the game. We got one tight end. That's three guys, so that means to have our five eligible, we got one wide receiver, two wide receivers in the game. So when you hear 21 personnel, you know that there's two backs, there's one tight end, and there's two wide receivers in the game. That will carry over when you hear 12 personnel, 11 personnel, 10 personnel. We'll get into those a little later. But for today, we're working 21 personnel, two backs, one tight end, two wide receivers. Let's talk about these other positions. Obviously, this is the quarterback, okay? This is the quarterback. This F is the fullback. We're gonna call him the fullback. This H is the halfback or the running back. This X is a wide receiver. This Z is another wide receiver. You ask, why is it called an X and why is it called a Z wide receiver? For you guys to make it easy for you guys, I put them color coordinated the way they should be. You see the Z wide receiver is green. When you see a red light, red light, green means go. So a Z wide receiver lines up off the ball and the Z wide receiver has the ability to move, right? They can go in motion. The Z wide receiver. That's why you see the green. He can go. The X, you see him in red. He is not able to move. As a red light, you see red means stop. So the X receiver cannot move or go in motion. The X receiver is on the ball and he is stuck there. I got the tight end in yellow. When you see a yellow light, it means caution. So when the tight end moves, other people have to be aware of the tight end moving. Meaning, if the tight end get up and move and come over here, now we have to make some adjustments. Otherwise, we're gonna have an illegal formation. Why is that? You see on this side, there is nobody on the end of the line of scrimmage. So if this tight end get up and move, this Z receiver, has to move up to the ball. When he come over here, when a tight end come over and get on the ball, this X has to back off the ball. Now we have a legal formation. Tight end in man, this guy's off the ball. This guy moves up, becomes the end man on the line of scrimmage. So we always gotta be aware when the tight end is moving because other people have to adjust unless the tight end starts off the ball. But for the sake of this, we got the tight end in a normal position. The Z is off the ball. The X is on the ball. So those are our positions. Quarterback, fullback, halfback, X wide receiver, Z wide receiver, 
Y is the tight end. So now let's explain X nasty and Z close. The Z, if they line him up in here, we're gonna call him Z close. He line up close to the formation, close to the structure in here. We're gonna call him Z close. The X, if he lines up in here, we're gonna identify him as X nasty. The X is nasty. The Z is close, okay? The X is nasty. The Z is close. We'll talk about why they wanna do stuff like that a little later on. Okay, let's identify some motions, okay? The Z, we already said that this guy is, is the guy that can move. Most of the time, the Z is going to move in, in, on the formation and it comes to motion we're gonna call his motion zen motion z n zen motion if the tight end moves we're gonna say he's going across the formation right so we're gonna call him yak all right the y across the ball yak motion Yak motion for the tight end, Zen motion for the ZY receiver. Okay? All right, we got that. So now let's talk about the formation. This formation is I formation pro. You say, why is it called pro formation? Let's identify and explain what pro and slot is. When you have a pro formation, your XY receiver and your ZY receiver are on opposite sides of the ball. That's what makes it pro. I know growing up, you always thought just probably I formation was pro, pro I. Didn't know why it was called pro I. We just saw it and it was I formation. We called it pro, right? What makes it pro? The X and the Z are on opposite sides of the ball. If we take the Z and move them over here, now we have slot because the X and the Z are on the same side of the ball. So that's what makes some one pro and that's what makes one slot. X and Z on the same side gives us slot. X and Z opposite gives us pro. And the reason why that's important is because they can come out in the formation and put the flex the tight end out here and it looks like a slot formation, right? It looks like two guys on the same side. That's not slot. This is still a pro, right? This is still a pro. They move the Z over here. Even if they flex the Y out, now this looks like a, a open set we're going to still call this slot because we got the X and the Z on the same side. So even if they motion and put the fullback out here, we're still going to call this and identify it as a slot formation. Okay, so now we got that. Let's put these guys back. So this one right here, we're going to work pro today, right now. Let's explain far and near. The tight end right here, the tight end carries the strength. So this formation will be pro right, pro right. This is I right now. If we said pro right far, that means the fullback is going to align away from the tight end, okay? Far, he's gonna align far from the tight end. If we say pro right near, he's going to align close to the tight end, okay? Far and near. Understand that, that's very important that you understand that this guy right here is near and he's far, okay? And we have to know what is going on because this guy can move. He can start right here and he can motion over there. He can start right here and motion to a near set. So we gotta be aware of what they're doing and have an understanding for, okay? 
And all this stuff is gonna come into play later on when we start talking coverages because we're gonna have to be able to identify and anticipate what could they do. Because as a defensive guys, we react to what the offensive guys do. So explaining the personnel, 21 personnel, we got a good understanding of that. Positions, quarterback, understand the Z wide receiver, understand the X wide receiver, he can't move. Z's, they can move. We have to be alert for those guys going in motion. The Y, that's the tight end, the fullback, the halfback, okay? Explaining and understanding the X and Z wide receiver, understanding that Z get in, we're gonna call him Z close. That X is in, we're gonna call him X nasty. Understanding, Zen motion, Yak motion, pro and slot. Z and X on opposite sides of the ball, it's gonna give us pro. Z and X on the same side of the ball, it's gonna give us slot. And then near and far, tight end here, fullback offset to the tight end, we're gonna call this a near set. Fullback away from the tight end, we're gonna call that a far set. Okay, that's just a quick breakdown of 21 personnel and the positions on the offense, understanding X and Z wide receivers, understanding pro and slot, near and far. Now that we've talked about the offense, let's talk about a base defense against 21 personnel. So we hop on screen here. Now we can see we got the same offensive formation. But now we've put a, a base defense up against it. Base defense is the defense that is our base foundation. Some teams run four threes, some teams run three fours. You get to the high school level, some teams run five threes, four fours. Um, you know, in college you see more all types of three three fives. You see four two fives. You see all types of different configurations. But you gotta have 11 guys out there, and then you got D linemen, you got linebackers, and you got a secondary. So what we're talking about, we're gonna stick more to a 4-3, okay? So as we see, you got four defensive linemen, you have three linebackers, and then that leaves you four secondary guys. So we're not gonna spend a lot of time on the D line, but we'll identify these guys you got in, defensive end, you have a defensive tackle, another defensive tackle, and you have another defensive end, okay? Moving on to these linebackers, you see a W, you see a M, you see a S, let's talk about that. The M is the middle linebacker. The M also stands for the mic. I know you hear that a lot of times. Um, that's the mic linebacker. Another thing about the mic linebacker, generally he has the mic in his helmet this is generally the guy calling the plays to the defense. He's getting a call from the defensive coordinator or whoever's making the calls on the sideline, and he's relaying the call to the defense. This is your Mike linebacker. Some guys you may know of, Ray Lewis, Luke Keekley, Brian Erlacher back when he played, Mike Singletary, um, different guys who have been middle linebackers and they run this show. Moving on to the S, this is the Sam linebacker, S. Sam, the Sam linebacker is considered the strong side linebacker on a defense. He aligns up to the strong side of the offense, which we identified is where the tight end is. So he aligns to the tight end. This is generally your better run stopping linebacker because most offenses will try to run the ball to their tight end. The W is the wheel linebacker, also the weak side linebacker. This is the strong side of the offense, then this is the open side or the weak side of the offense. So we're gonna put our wheel linebacker here. This guy generally isn't great against the run straight at him, but he's more of a speed guy. He probably is a better cover guy than your Sam linebacker. So if any of these backs try to come out the backfield, this wheel backer, would probably be the guy to pick him up. So that's the Mike, that's the Sam to the strong side, that's the Will to the weak side. Let's move on, we got corners. We got corner here, corner there. Our cornerbacks cover wide receivers. They align to the wide receivers. Now you can have 
some systems where your corners travel, you have some systems where your corners stay at home. Your corners generally align on your wide receivers. You got strong safety here, you got free safety. What makes them strong, what makes them free? Okay, your strong safety aligns, just like your strong side linebacker, your strong safety aligns to your strong side of the offense which would be to the tight end side. That's why he's called the strong side. Like I said, most offenses like to run the ball to the strong side of their off, their formation, being where the tight end is. So we're gonna put our run stopping guys, our strong safety, and our strong linebacker, our Sam linebacker here. We're gonna put them to the strong side of the offense to try to stop the run because this formation, our formation, this personnel, 21 personnel, is more of a run play action personnel and formation. So we're gonna put our strong guys over here. So strong safety aligns to the tight end, free safety aligns to the open side of the offense away from the tight end. So he's the free safety. That is why he's free, he's to the open side of the formation strong side strong safety open side free safety okay so that's kind of in a nutshell what it is for us defensively because everything that we do defensively kind of depends on how these guys are lined up different things that we can do in the coverage different things we can do with our linebackers kind of depends on their formations like we talked about they go to slot how do we adjust to that it all depends on the coverage. Right now, we're just talking in basic understanding of positions, why they're called that, how they fit into the defense and the offense so that we can, at some point, start to talk different coverages. But you have to know free safety. You have to know strong safety. You have to know Sam Backer to the strong side, Mike Backer in the middle, Will Backer to the weak side, corners, on wide receivers. You have to know the offensive guys. X, Z, halfback or the running back, the F and the quarterback. So today we cover some basic offensive terminology, just understanding how to identify personnel, understanding X and Z wide receivers, the difference in pro and slot, uh, near and far, Zen motion, yak motion, then defensively, we talked to base defense, learn some positions and why they are called that. Hopefully you guys learn something from this. This is like, this is our base. This is our foundation. We have to know this stuff if we're going to move on. So study up and get ready for the next install. And until next time, peace.